Hi, I'm Michael Sachs. I'm the principal trumpet of the Cleveland Orchestra for the last 32 years. For the upcoming concert next week, I'm going to be playing the uh, Hummel Trumpet Concerto in E Major by Johann Nepomuk Hummel, uh, which was composed in uh, 1803 and premiered on New Year's Eve 1803-1804. It's a wonderful 18-minute piece that really showcases a variety of aspects and styles for the trumpet. One of the fun aspects of being a trumpet player is that you get to use a number of different instruments to do your job. Uh, this is a B-flat trumpet. B-flat trumpet is the largest instrument. Uh, it's the home base for all trumpet players and usually the instrument that most trumpet players start on, either B-flat trumpet or B-flat cornet. And um, I use this B-flat trumpet to warm up on every day. Then there's a C trumpet, and as you can see, the C trumpet is slightly smaller, and the, the slide is a little bit closer in, so the tubing is a little bit, uh, the length is a little bit shorter. So it's a little bit higher instrument. The C trumpet is pretty much my standard instrument uh, in the orchestra. I play this probably about, oh, a good 90% of the time, either B flat or C trumpet in the orchestra, mostly C trumpet. Then here is an E trumpet, and this is a little bit of an anomaly. This is a prototype. A very good friend of mine, Bob Malone, uh, who I've known for the last 40 years, is uh, really just a genius craftsman who works uh, with Yamaha instruments, and came up with an idea for an E trumpet, and uh, I've always wanted to play the Hummel in the original key of E, so uh, Bob very graciously uh, created this instrument, uh, especially for uh, these performances of, of the Hummel Concerto, and it's a, a wonderful uh, hybrid instrument. It's actually an E E flat, so it could be an E and E flat, but it's really um, predominantly made to be an E trumpet. And as you can see, that's a little bit smaller than the C trumpet. And finally, for some historical perspective, this is a uh, keyed trumpet a key trumpet in the key of E, E natural. And the key trumpet is what the Homo Concerto was originally written for in 1803. And this instrument was uh, devised by a man by the name of Anton Weidinger. And Anton Weidinger was uh, the top trumpet player in Vienna in the late 18th century. And uh, before that, um, the trumpet was only allowed to play in the harmonic series that was available. There were no valves or keys or anything like this. It'd be as if you took these away and was just left with the tubing. So you're only allowed to play a harmonic series where the notes really weren't that close together unless you played very high. And what Weidinger did is he created this key trumpet where he created these keys that allowed the trumpet to play in a more diatonic and somewhat chromatic manner, and that availed the trumpet a number of more notes that um, could be used when they, were, when they were playing a piece. And uh, this is the instrument that Haydn originally wrote his trumpet concerto for in 1796 for Weidinger, and then Hommel wrote his concerto in 1803 um, for Anton Weidinger as well. Anytime I have the opportunity and the honor to be able to stand in front of this orchestra, it's a, a wonderful experience. I mean, normally, being principal trumpet, I'm in the back of the orchestra and everything is in front of me. But getting to stand up front and being in the midst of all this wonderful music and these wonderful musicians and having that converging upon me, it's such a different uh, perspective. And it's really uh, it's very humbling um, to be up there and be able to be the recipient of all that support and all the wonderful musicians uh, surrounding me like that. It's, uh, it's a very unique perspective and one that uh, I always look forward to uh, being able to enjoy.